We're going to get the show started with the one and only Chef Randy Felt is in the kitchen. He is going to bake us something delicious, perfect for the holidays today. But, Chef, I got to ask you, what are we making? What is it called? Tracy, we are making a GBC Christmas tree. A GBC. Okay, so is this something that I'm supposed to know? What is GBC? GBC is kitchen lingo. If anyone that's been a line cook knows what that is, it is garlic bread with cheese. Garlic bread with cheese. Also, it can be called a GBCB. Garlic bread with cheese and bacon. GBCBT. Garlic cheese, <laughs> garlic bread with cheese, bacon, and tomato. You got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Usually stops there. I don't have any more words. You know what? We don't want to complicate it because actually garlic bread on its own is amazing. Then you add cheese. That's amazing. And then you make it is Chef Randy Felta's style, We're which is festive. like a little Christmas tree. We're going to make a Christmas tree. That's so good. And hopefully it turns out beautifully and it doesn't look like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <laughs> but even if it does, it's garlic bread with cheese, so everyone loves it, whether it's grandpa, whether it's us, or even the kids. That's right. right. It's going to taste good. It's going to taste fantastic. So, Trace, what we need is 30 pieces of pizza dough. You can buy this at the grocery store, and you're basically just going to cut it up into little balls. I put them in front of you, about one ounce. Beautiful. Okay. So, you definitely want to be using pizza dough um, because it, you probably need it to be, like, easy to shape. Easy to shape. And you yeah. can make your own. I'm very capable of making my own. Yes. But You've I, done it a few I've times. Done a few times. You've done it a few times. But I didn't, and I don't. Yeah, you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, you don't. You can buy this at the yeah, store, and it's a simple to. thing to do. So the next year, you're going to get some pizza mozzarella. Oh, it's pizza mozzarella. And just mozzarella. cube it up into, like, a half-inch little piece. Okay. And then we fold it into the dough, Tracy. Oh, so like there's a that. sweet little, I mean, sweet. a savory little surprise. A little surprise in, in there. little ball. And here is the trick, because we really don't, nobody likes the cheese melting out. Okay. Right? We, we want to keep capture it, in it inside. So you're going to put it on your board, and you're just going to roll it to kind of seal that bottom part. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you mine. Let's see. You see how mine's like nice and, well, it's not so great. <laughs> <laughs> it's that a little sticky. makes me happy, But though, it can be it better. Let's see what you got. doesn't matter what mine looks Wait, like. No, no. You can well, always, like, like finesse you know it as well You know what happened? It's like the dough was sitting here, and so there's there. some parts that are drier than others. That's so true. This is the only side you need to see. see. The other side, no, you're not going to look at the other side, that's okay? you got this something going on. That's, that's not going that's on. That's not even happening. Okay. And you will get better at it as you make the 30 of them, right? Right. And so what we've done now is we've kind of <laughs> got a base, and then you're going to go seven, yeah. and then six, and then five, and four, and if that all gets added up together, you don't get your calculator out. I've done it before. It's 30. <laughs> That's where we're at. Okay, you all make right? 30. So you kind of got them like that. And listen, if you make a bit of a mess because your toddler's doing it with you, it's okay. It's, it's going to taste the same. It's a family recipe. It's no one really cares. Yeah. It's all going to the same place anyways. I mean, but Pinterest. it does look nice when it's done perfectly. Oh, I mean, like, look at that. That's okay. There's bigger and smaller, but it looks like I a wanna tree, I want to show up. Uh, oh, there you go. Look at that. That's that's pretty. pretty yeah, it's a little Christmas Three tree. Little things. Very nice. So what do we do now? Garlic butter. I mean, you could actually stop now and just bake it, but of course, you're going to elevate it. You could. You could, but why would you do that, right? right. So what we want to do is we really want to break the garlic down, because the more we break the garlic down, it kind of gets that intense flavor, and it melts yeah. away. So thicker, bigger pieces of garlic get sweeter, but really broken down. If you put it through a microplane, it kind of gives you that bite that's kind of like, okay, everyone's going to be eating this, so it's okay if we're breathing on each other kind of thing. <laughs> you just kind of drop that into your melted butter like that, right? So you melted butter. You're going to put some garlic in there. Yep. So you got some kick, and then what else are you put in? So you got in? some herbs. Now, you could go with anything like parsley, but we got to actually add a bit more flavor, some chives and some basil, just to give it a bit more love. And then, of course... It also looks more like a Christmas tree when like you put Christmas the green tree. in. <gasps> and then, and then some... it's snowing. We need more than one cheese. You can't call it garlic bread with one cheese. That's, that's right. That's cheese is, right? So that's some Parmesan. And then yes. we're just going to, like, kind of layer this over top of the Christmas. It's going to be the best Christmas ever. <laughs> right? And so you don't worry too much about proofing it, because by the time you're kind of done this, it's going to be proofed enough, and then it's going to hit your oven, and it's going to expand from there. Beautiful. So we go all over like that. And then you know what you should do, just, just for fun. You, you know, know what? It's give a snowstorm. It what are you like going to do about it? You know, oh, it's it's just... Like, this is berry snowing. weather right here. It's in the snow belt, <laughs> Trace. That's what's going on right there. And I mean, because that's just going to add a little extra caramelization, oh, man, right, and color. So then we bake in the oven at 425 for exactly 22 minutes. That was very specific. Very specific. <laughs> that's what's going to make and it come out the best, right? I'll close that for you, you get Chef. The door for yeah. Me? 
there. There we go. Is oh, that's beautiful. You could do a little side marinara, just yes. warm room temperature. You could make that too, or you could buy it. You could buy it too, right? right? I like when the chef says you could buy it. What is, what, like, what's that, chef? This is a star. That, oh, that's obviously course, a star obviously. that goes on top. And I yeah. also thought that we could dive into that and give that a go. But you can see it's a little crusty on the outside. You so how hot cold? is it? I it's okay? It's okay. Okay, and all I'm right, hoping, that's perfect. Oh, it's a little. Oh, it's oh. feeling very good. So and let's give it some... a little. Oh, yeah. there's a little pull in there. You got a bigger pull than I did. Uh, give it a marinara. I didn't even you wait did, for you the sauce. You went straight so in. Sorry. That's loud. It's delicious. It's delicious, isn't it? <laughs> Recipe 